Hi, this is Sue Doyle with OT Lifestyle Solutions, again, answering your questions about OT Lifestyle Solutions and occupational therapy. One of the questions I've just been asked is, what do you do to help me get equipment? So I want to talk a little bit briefly about that um, when we look at what do you do to get equipment. Equipment is often called DME. But that's not the only type of equipment, but generally in the medical center, durable medical equipment is what people are referring to. And that can be a range of things. Um, depending on the population I'm working with, it can be anything from an electronic door opener that you can operate with a switch or with your voice, or it can be a shower chair, a toilet um, seat, riser, or even a... Um, transfer pole that goes beside your bed. Ooh, some of my patients even call them stripper poles, but that's another whole story. Um, so anyway, there's a range of equipment that's in that category. And then there's also things like um, equipment that helps you get return in your arm after a stroke. For example, I sometimes use a lot of Sabo devices orthotic equipment, robotic hands, electric glove, electric stimulation that helps get some sensory return or some movement back in your arm after a stroke. Then there's also equipment such as a wheelchair. And I help a lot of clients working with an ATP, to, uh, which is an assistive technology professional from a wheelchair company to put together a, a plan for a wheelchair um, for you. So how does an OT work in those categories. First of all, we look at what you can do in how you move and those kinds of things that you need. Um, we look and talk with you about what are your goals? What do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? And then we use our clinical reasoning skills and some of the evidence and research that we have to put together a plan and an idea that's going to best help you achieve those goals. And there could be several things, but often equipment can be part of that. It can be adapted and changed um, to help the environment. And it can really make um, life different. So there's that skilled clinical reasoning piece on deciding what is the best equipment for you and how does that work? And that's the unique role of occupational therapy. That's why potentially you don't just want to go down to the drugstore or to Walmart and pick out a piece of equipment because it may not be the best for you. Now, some of your insurance may cover that, your health insurance. And so one of the things that occupational therapists will do, they'll know what's covered by your health insurance or be able to help you navigate that space. But often I say I have to write a letter of medical necessity um, that describes how I've done that clinical reasoning piece of thinking. What are the impairments? What are the goals? Why? excuse me, is this important and how that works together. So then that's that piece. And then working with you once the equipment comes to make sure it's the right piece of equipment, that you know how to use it and that we've practiced using it and it's safe and that it's meeting those goals, that it's really going to help you get to where we said or what we wanted you to do. The same thing happens with the wheelchair. The same thing happens if we're talking about um, using Siri to turn, you know, on your iPad or your iPhone to open and close your door or open and close a window. Um, and then sometimes navigating the space of how can we write for grants? Can we apply for your insurance companies? Is there something developmental disabilities would help? So there are a range of ways that occupational therapy can help you get the equipment that specifically meets your needs and is designed and, ta and tailored for you. Otherwise, you can go down to the store and buy something, but often it's going to be like those hospital socks, you know, that one size fits all, but fits nobody. And that's really why you need someone skilled to help you with that and to make sure that it's specific for your needs and that you're trained and able to use it safely and well. So if you have any further questions about that or you're interested in it, please reach out to me. You can leave a message here or you can reach out at otlifestylesolutions.com. Looking forward to hearing more questions that we can answer. Have a great weekend.